Hey guys, this is a product review for Trekking, the game. Um, this is a really cool game. You can see this is the board. So it's very big. It does fold up nicely and it fits right in the box. I'll just show you the back of the box. Um, so, yeah, it would take me a minute to explain all the rules of the game, but I, I really wanted to emphasize that what I love about this game is that you're learning about U.S. geography and especially where different um, parks are or things you might want to visit. So, you know, Everglades are down there, Great Smoky Mountains, Rocky Mountains, um, Badlands, let's see, the Redwood, um, Death Valley, J Joshua Tree, that's over there. So as an adult, I didn't really know where a lot of these things were or some of the stuff I hadn't actually heard of before. So it's really, really educational, of course, especially for kids. Um, so I love educational games. I think that's really cool. This one and Wingspan are um, really great for getting into the outdoors and understanding nature and what's available while still being a game. So really cool. I love that about this. Um, the gameplay, you have these little players. Um, whoops. So these are your trackers and then they're trekking across the board to different um, locations. So this guy's in Zion and um, National Park. And you're doing that by having these um, trekking cards that tell you how many spaces you can move. So you have these different numbers and icons. Um, yeah, that's a little bit more, more detailed gameplay. You're trying to stack up your icons too. But you have your numbers and that when you lay that down, it lets you um, announce how many spaces you're going to move to to get to the different national parks. And they're not just spots on the game. It actually does come with these national park cards that you're trying to um, win um, that have some more, like they have a beautiful picture and some details on it. Some nice um, little sound bite of info. And then those are the icons there that I was mentioning before that were on the cards. Um, but you can see like that's a beautiful, beautiful shot in Arizona, Redwood. I've actually seen better photos of Redwood, but that's, that's pretty cool. Um, American Samoa. So yeah, it's just giving you, um, I mean, the, the map itself is super engaging, but to have these photos of the actual locations with little bits of info, largest national park i didn't know that um yeah so i'm learning live right now uh and it's california and nevada that's super interesting um and i think that photo there there might be more photos um but anyway you can just see there are quite a few cards here um that just give you a little snapshot of the location and i remember playing like I played with like travel stuff when I was a little kid and I remember how exciting these like far away places were to me. So um, this would have been super thrilling when I was a little kid. As an adult, it's giving me ideas for different road trips I'd love to take. Um, so that's another thing if as a family you'd like to do a US road trip, playing a game like this first might get um, kids or the adults to really excited about getting to see these different places and understanding where they are in the map and um it would kind of weave in almost like you're you're getting points for making it to the different location in real life too um yeah so it does have these little camper camper playing pieces and these are um pebbles i forget if they call these pebbles or rocks but they're on each location and then you when you land on the location you can get a pebble and try and claim the card and you get points for that and um so that's that's there's a really fun game component here but i wanted to emphasize the learning and the engagement on what um 
what the US looks like and what the world looks like. So a super awesome game. I think it's really, really fun um, for a lot of ages. And I love that this is something that you can bring into the real world and it just enhances your awareness of the place we live in, the earth.